this is um, Heavy Rain. It's <laughs> a game developed by French developer David Cage, known weirdo. It's kind of one of the very, uh, the start, like, the big turnaround for games that were all about emotion. Oh, there's so much emotion in this game. Oh, you're gonna feel so many feelings. All the characters have feelings. Looking back on it now, it's kind of silly. Like, there's a lot of silly things in it. My intention with this game is to pretty much barely play it. Try not to play it as much as possible, because there's a lot of funny stuff that happens in this game if you just don't play. We'll take our naked man and we'll look around. Don't work too hard. I love you. Everybody in this game is a, pretty much a French voice actor doing an American accent, and it doesn't... it's not great. Yeah, art. This is art. Right now, we're just an empty shell of a man. We're just a robot man. Look at me, it's robot white guy. Alright, I'm out of here. Fuck my family. Ah, uh, yes. My totally real, not simulated life. Are you experiencing feelings? Drink it. Drink it quickly and die. Choke <laughs> on it. Just pour it down your pants. Can I fail drinking my cup? Yep. <laughs> And nope, you failed. You cannot have your coffee. <laughs> All right, here we go. A grown man by himself. Yes. Oh no, my wife is home. Dad, oh, hey, hey, Dad. take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Hello, robot children. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Now, can I drive your car? Can I drive uh, I your car, Dad? Have to wait a little while. Oh, I love you, my French-American children. Can you please help me? Hello, robot wife. Don't don't you worry, honey. I got it. You just stay put. And I will help you with those bags. <clears throat> Here we go. Helping you with the bags. She's more goddamn beautiful with every passing day. Honey, I'm just. I would help you, but I can't help but think about how beautiful you are. Anyway, I'm gonna help you with those bags any any second now. Uh, wait, nope. Oh, okay. Whoa, well, oh, sorry, hon. Never I mind. I'll do it. couldn't help you. <laughs> I couldn't I figure it out. Thinking. That was that was really complicated. I wasn't thinking. Sorry. Could help me with the plates in the living room cupboard. I can't hear you, hon. Going outside. Sorry. Hey, kids. No, I was just yeah, ignoring your mother. Which one of my robot children would like a turn? Me first. Me first. No, me first. Uh huh. Don't w don't worry. I'll. Make a decision. I want to do the helicopter. It's my turn now. It's my turn. Okay. Don't you, don't you worry. I'll Throw me up in the air. I'll choose in a moment. You give me a second. I'm gonna pick the one that looks like Spock. <laughs> All right, here we go, kid. We're doing it. Here we go. All right, you sit tight. Are we having fun? This is fun, right? Do you like this game? <laughs> can I fail picking up my chid kid? Yes, I can. All right. How do you like? Do you like this game? This is fun, right? Look at his face. He's loving it. All right. We'll do that. We'll hold on to that, and then we'll fuck that all up. Oh, it just reverses. That's all it does. Whoop. All right. Here we go. Okay, Sean. Get ready. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Hang tight. Here we go, kid. <laughs> Isn't this a good time? <laughs> Hang tight, kiddo. We're gonna see if we can slam your head through this window. <laughs> oh, I think I'm stuck. Oh no. Next robot child. It's my turn All now. right, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. <laughs> let's do the helicopter. Are you ready? Brace yourself, young child. All right. This is the helicopter, right? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're having a great time. Look at that. Yes. Yes. All right. Here we go. We're doing the helicopter. We're having a great time. Whoop. All right. Wasn't that a good? <laughs> Didn't you enjoy yourself? Big muscles. <laughs> All right. Let me take. Let me take my shirt off. All right, kids. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, daddy's real strong. Yes. Oh, 
here we go. We're lifting. And, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> if you just press A. Ah. 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 I am going to destroy this child. Oh yeah? I'm an adult. I'm gonna beat your ass. In your face. Come on, Jason. Give up. I am victorious. Yeah, cut your leg off, you little dickhead. You thought you could you could defeat me. I'm your robot father. You'll never defeat me. Got your other leg, stupid. I can yeah. drive a car and drink alcohol. Yeah. No. You can't do shit. You're a stupid kid. <laughs> Got you, dummy. <laughs> Food's ready, kids. You coming in? Oh, hey, hon. I'm just killing the children. She's like, Hun honey, I made dinner. Don't, don't you want to come in? No. Nah. No, nah, I'm going to stand in my bush today, hon. I can't take another day with you and the kids. I just can't take it. I, I gotta cry in my bush for a little bit, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I feel like he's looking at me. I feel like he knows I'm playing a joke on him. He's like, what are you doing? This game is about feelings and you're ruining it with your stupid jokes. Sean? Lunch is ready. Lunch is ready, stupid. I'll go get him. Look at that delicious salad. It looks like they're having a conversation, but they're not. They're just, like, pantomiming having a conversation. It's really, really creepy. We're waiting for you! And then her hands freak out. Alright, great. Hello, robot What's son. What's Merlin. What's wrong? <laughs> He's dead. I assumed you killed him because He's you're so weird it's and creepy? Fault. So this is a really, really fun part to do nothing in. That's the whole point of this playthrough. The whole point of this playthrough is that we're gonna try to do as little as possible like and not take this game Sean. as seriously Can as it'd like Jason us to take it. I promise we won't be long. Sure, no problem. Just me and my French robot son. All right, I'm just gonna cross my arms here and immediately lose track of my child. So there's my my kid just wandering off. You can literally see him just walking away. Jason. 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 He turned around for a second. And then he turned right back around. Jason. Jason. <laughs> it's like he heard me and then he's like, nah, Jason. fuck you, Dad. He couldn't have gone far. He was here a second ago. He couldn't have gone far. Where did I I have no idea where he went. Anyway, let's not even think about our son. Let's hang out with these people. They seem way cooler than my stupid son. Jason. 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 Are you Jason? I haven't seen my son in such a long time. Jason. I've forgotten what he looks like. Jason. Are you Jason? Jason. Are any of you Jason. my son Jason? Jason. Are you experiencing feelings Jason. and emotions yet? Jason. My son has been Jason. missing for like ten Jason. minutes. Jason. Jason. Are you Jason? Jason? Excuse me. I feel Jason. like you guys aren't listening to me. I'm, I'm Jason. saying Jason over and over again. Jason? Jason? I'm just looking through this window Jason. saying Jason over Jason. and over again. <laughs> Jason. Jason. Oh. How close can I be to him and also say Jason simultaneously? Right Jason. here. Look at this. Jason. 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 Hey, buddy. Jason. Hey, buddy. Could you come over here? Jason. Daddy's right here. Jason. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Uh, pedophile warning right here, folks. Jeez. Jason. All right. Well, we'll get back to Jason. 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 I just want to explore this mall because you're not really supposed to do this. Jason. Excuse me, sir. Jason. 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 Just stand in this corner Jason. by these mops, saying Jason, Jason. staring at a wall, Jason. <laughs> saying Jason. Jason! It doesn't give me the press Jason button anymore. Wow, I think I broke it. 
Hey, hi, Jason. Listen, you really shouldn't run her off like you that. Shouldn't you shouldn't know? run her off like that, Jason. An awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad. Can I, I was have walking one? around for really 20 minutes screaming one. your name. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. All right, let's get a balloon. Great. Let's buy a balloon hey, from this Jim. pedophile. Aw, happy robot dad. That'll be two dollars, sir. Two dollars. Jason, wait yeah, for no me. Problem. Wait for your dad, son. It's J really crowded in here. Jason, wait for me. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason, buddy. What happens if you don't pay the clown? Sir, you owe me two dollars. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, no problem. Hey, Jason, buddy. I need you to not walk away from your robot father, okay? All right, just give me a second, Jason. I'm gonna pay this clown. There's no sense of urgency, so it's kind of just awkward, and the the video loops over and over again, and there's he's not panicking about his son or anything like that. So this all this is very really funny to me. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Oh, you're telling me. Where's hey, I lost our son. He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. He was here a second ago, and then it took me ten minutes to pay a clown, and he disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? Stay v here. Vanished. I'll go get uh, him. Kidnapped. Right I don't know what else kind of words to use, sweetheart. We have to find him, Ethan. Yeah. Now. We He'll should. get lost in the crowd. We should definitely look for him, hun. I'll reassure you. Easy, Grace. It's gonna be all right. I'll find him. Take it easy, Grace. Relax. Jason! Here, I'll stand right here. And I'll just Jason! yell Jason in your face over and over again. Is this helping? Jason! Jason! Excuse me. Is your son my son? Jason! Can I have your son? Jason! Mine ran away. Jason! 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 <laughs> there he is. Hey, Quick, asshole. I need to go down crowd. Stop running away from your family. <laughs> Little shithead. This kid deserves to get Jason! kidnapped. Jason! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Jason! Look at some of these people's faces. They're super creepy. They're just like walking into each other. If you saw this in real life, you'd, you would have a fucking panic attack. This is supposed to give you a sense of urgency, but everybody's like so robotic. There's a lot of twins. Wow, we can really walk away from that Jason. area. All right, I'm leaving. Just the complete wrong way. <laughs> if you just walk in front of some people, they just stop and turn around. There. Just walk in front of this guy. He just turns around. Nope, I guess I'm going this way now. Oh shit, I can win a car! Jason! J is that car named Jason? I want to win this car. Who cares about my stupid kid? Ooh, Chinese food. Jason! Jason! Jason, it's Chinese food. Jason! Excuse me. Jason! Can I have um, an order of Jason, please? Excuse Jason! me. Can I have some Jason? Jason! I feel like nobody's listening to me. Let me yell Jason, Jason! in your face for a second. Jason! Jason! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Jason! Oh, just imagine being that guy. <laughs> He's like, why is this guy yelling Jason, Jason in my you face? Really have me scared. Are you my son? Oh my god, it's an even uglier kid flood the whole place with these weird robot people. Oh, their faces are so creepy. Uh, this kid deserves everything that happens to him. Shit! Jason! Oh, now you yell Jason with some, with some gravitas. Jason, run now! Jason, no! Use the balloon to float away! Hit us with that sad piano. Oh my god, no! Oh god. No! No, Jason, oh my god, Oh, the, no. oh, the feelings. No! My robot son. Oh my god. My robot husband. No! My sharp-edged balloon. They're all gone. Taken. Taken by the heavy rain. Two years later, after my son stupidly gets hit by a car because he's a freaking idiot. Hello, second robot child. It's a shame Hi, you didn't get hit by a car as well. Hey, Dad. 
Oh god, the feelings. See you, kid. You're on your own. Dad's gonna go smoke cigarettes in the rain by these dumpsters. I can't take it anymore, being your father. Heavy rain. It's been the same thing. Heavy weeks. rain. It's the name of the game. Sean's waiting for me in the car. I better go back. Better take my son home, but instead I'm gonna stand outside his window in the rain, just staring at him. Don't worry, everything's fine, kiddo. Daddy just needs to stand here and think a while. Think about the heavy rain. Daddy just needs to sit here and think a while. No, 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 no seatbelt. What are you looking at? Don't look at me! Don't look at your father! Written and directed by a French weirdo. Family, daddy's home. Oh, that's right, I'm divorced and my son got run over by a car because he's an idiot. Please, dad. You're in front of the TV. Mind your own business. Oh, sorry. Please, dad. You're blocking the TV. You watch your mouth, mister. Do you want to talk a little? Do you want to talk about, about our feelings? I don't know about you, your friends. How things are going? It doesn't even look at Nothing his son. special. <laughs> What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. This kid's a fucking bummer. Just cause, look, just cause your brother died doesn't give you the right to be a little jerk. What's this? The origami killer strikes again. Hmm, duh? Do you want a cigarette or something? He's just not saying anything. Just stits. Do you want to have a staring contest, perhaps? You do your homework. I'm going to... Can I drink in front of my son? That looks like a beer. Ah, uh, it's been a long day for Daddy. You do your homework. Daddy's just going to drink in front of the open fridge. Let me have a look. He's like, I don't Pretty understand good. any of this looks shit. Looks like you're yeah, done. Yeah, looks great. Good <laughs> job. You go. Great job, robot son. Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was my favorite show. Turn it back on, Dad. Well, I don't want to watch that show. No, I think you've watched enough TV for today. Please, Dad, just a little while longer. Oh, okay. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was my favorite show. Turn it back on, Dad. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was my favorite show. Turn it back on, Dad. No. No, I think you've watched enough TV for today. Please, Dad, just a little while longer. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was my favorite show. Turn it <laughs> back on, Dad. No. No, I think you've watched enough TV for today. Please, Dad, just a little while longer. No. I said no, that's enough. That's not fair. Mom always lets me watch TV after school. I wish you got run over by a car instead of your brother. Wrong kid, Dad. I have this feeling that I might not be a good dad. This is where I always go when my son's being an asshole. Nothing but net, baby. My stupid son doesn't understand me. Yells at his son, goes outside, and shoots hoops. He's like, I hate my fucking life. It's raining. I'd better get back inside. Very observant. What am I thinking? I can't leave Sean alone in the house. Yeah, sure you can. Anytime my son's being an asshole, I just come stand out in the rain. Hey, stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. Hey, stop messing around or I'll never be Why able to film you. Tell me what you want to be when you grow up. Wait, I know. I'll be a dinosaur hunter. A dinosaur I'm hunter? A what are you, a game. fucking idiot? Aw, oh, my favorite part about video games. Crying in a closet. <laughs> oh, my, my emotions. Oh, my brain. I was hoping I could talk to my ugly son before I have this mental collapse, but oh well. Shouldn't have taken that LSD. Oh. 
an origami wolf. Weird. I don't even know how to make origami. Guess I'll walk home as slowly as possible, even though my son is asleep in bed. What an emotional ride. Oh, look at this. Look at his face. Just want to kiss him. Can I pop your pimples? Tuesday. Six minutes a.m. Just sitting in my car. All right, let's get out. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. <laughs> About five dollars for last a bride. Door on the left at Pretty the end cheap of the bride. Corridor. So he gave me the right address, but what happens when you knock on everybody else's door? Nobody answers their door here. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you. Oh, he just literally can't leave. Come on. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Me neither. Fine by me. Instead of doing what you said, I'm just gonna snoop around your entire apartment. You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. No, I like to keep my actually, clothes I'm not on, a customer. actually. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? No, thank you. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you. Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. Sure. All right, on my way. I said beat it! Hey, you don't need to yell. I'm out of here. I'm going. Look at me go. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Well, that was a good time. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh God. <coughs> Oh, I have a weakness. I'll just, I'll reach for my inhaler at any time. Here we go. I'm doing it. All I gotta do is press one of these buttons and I'll reach for my inhaler. Here we go. And, all right, let's check this one. Nope. Check this one. Nope. It's always in the last pocket. All right, we, we got it. Now st stick it in your mouth, and uh, what's the next part? Jeez, wish I could remember what the next part is. This is probably a, like a dire thing. Like I don't want to die or anything like that. This is. I should. Oh, I should probably. You should probably inhale on that thing, man. Any time now. I'll just take one. That'll make me feel better. Lauren! Lauren, open up, baby! It's me! Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Oh, Sorry, hey. Del. Would you perhaps really be interested in talking you. together? Oh. What do you want, asshole? I wanted Lauren, to ask you about our Lord Jesus right? Christ. 
She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Huh. I don't think so, mister. Hey, ah. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna oh. let you. Ow. Just put my controller on the floor. Is that the best you got? Come on. Oh, come on, you can hit me harder than that. Yeah, use the chair. Yeah, throw me on the table. Kiss me a little bit. This is very sexual. Oh, yeah, I love it, Daddy. Can I have another place? Thank you. I told you to mind your own business, asshole. Oh, thank you so much. Bitch. I hope to see you again later. It's nice that he closed the door a little nicely. Didn't slam it. Are you alright? Oh, I'm great. I loved every second of that. <laughs> oh. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I literally didn't do anything. Oh. Look, it's Casey Affleck. <laughs> this fucking heavy rain, dude. Alright, well, I'm out of here. I'm sure there's something important in that direction, but I want to go walk home in the rain. Can I get in the camera shot? They won't want to allow me to get any closer. Okay, they're done with their report. What do they do now? They just leave. Can I follow you home? Do you mind? You left your cameraman behind. Where are you going? Mind if I stand right in front of you and glitch you out? Oh, she's leaving. But wait, the news van's like right here and she's like just leaving in the rain. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. Agent Nam and Jaden. Got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here's my badge. Check. X Files. You can pass. I wear my sunglasses at night So Video I can recording. investigate dead kids Nama Jaden, Tuesday, Nama Jaden. 4, 2011 Time is 8.14 a.m. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> when did they find the body? Yeah, I'm, me, I'm a human. Who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. Nam and Jaden. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. But I like you guys. Do you mind if I stand in your face? And fail? <laughs> nope, no coffee for you. Nope, no coffee. I don't want to investigate anything. We should just find Blake and get out of here. Let's get our shoes nice and wet. Hey! You there! What are you doing? I'm, uh, messing with your evidence. Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the Norman Jaden. I went by your office this morning. They told me to beat you. I'm from the French district rain, of Boston. dead bodies and highways, you come to the right place. What happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a if body about move, six o'clock this can morning. I continue we don't to know talk much to more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami? No, it's, pro it's pronounced origami. Listen, I can see you busy. I'll just have a look around if you don't mind. <laughs> Be my guest. Let's check out the dead kid. Harry comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. It's definitely a dead child. Yep. Jizz everywhere. Just as I suspected. Alright. I've seen enough. Let's get out of here. Crime solved. 
I don't need any evidence. I'm on a hunch. I, like gathered no evidence. I looked at a dead kid and was like, "All right, I'm good. I've seen enough." Got to try to beat traffic, guys. I'm out of here. You know. What sad activities can we get up to now? Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Oh, I'm not thinking at all. Creepy psychiatrist. A crab. A crab. Death. 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 He has to say it twice. It's just clearly death. Ethan, don't look into it too much. That, that was just clearly a picture of death. I love David Cage's interpretation of what therapy is. It's just a Rorschach test. I have the results of your MRI scans. I am worried about your psychological condition. I'm worried about my psychological I condition, know too. I feel easy, like I'm in a video you've game, got Doc. To Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Yeah, I had a blackout. Have there been any cases of split personality developing after concussion? That's the end of this session. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. The doctor. I have I so many exactly feelings feel now. Doctor. Oh, the drama. I'm not even gonna talk to my kid. See you later, kid. I'm gonna hang out with these kids. They seem way cooler than my son. Sean looks so miserable. I wish I could help him. Just not sure I can right now. Sean used to love going to the park, laughing and messing around. Man, he was so happy. Oh, they won't let me abandon my son at the park. Jason. Come on. This game's so unrealistic. Hello, perhaps you would like to be my new son. Ugh, kids, am I right? Can I play? My son is really lame. Strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Oh, what's going on over here? Hello, hello, hello. I like what I see. Do you mind if I join in? I brought some strawberry candies. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. You hate strawberry? Dude, you suck. How did things go at school today? Bye. The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home. Next time. <laughs> I asked him about school and then walk away, I'm and I can still hear him. Show. I'm still talking to him from next across time, the park. We'll really put it together, okay? Can I buy more strawberries to give to my kid? A boomerang? You know how to use it? It's a boomerang. No, not really. Ow, son of a bitch. Are you impressed? All right, kid. Here, I'll try again. Important life lesson. Don't give up. Here we go. Here it comes. Easy peasy. Oh. <laughs> they only give you two fails. That was great. All right, so he's sitting on the seesaw. We just, like, walk away. Don't even bother. Dad doesn't want to play seesaw anymore. I don't want to play that game anymore. Oh, he gets up if you wait too long. I think we better go. Okay. Okay. Man, today sucked. Just walk away from him. All right, I'll meet you at home. I'll see you, see you later. I'm gonna go to the bar. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? No. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I'm gonna go smoke cigarettes with these other parents. Fun, please. All right, have fun, you weird robot kid. Oh no, Daddy had too much to drink again. Time to black out and forget about my son. <laughs> oh good, now we have a Sean button. <laughs> Is this my son? Oh my god, my son turned into a backpack. Are you outside playing basketball? Man, oh man, I am a bad father. Well, can't find him. Better just cry in the rain. This is so over dramatic. Just call the police. Why are you crying in the rain? Why are you yelling outside? <laughs> Your neighbors must hate him. Just yelling Sean and Jason all night. 
I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI Norman is Jayden. here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, Sounds of course. Sounds good. I'll uh, be right behind you. I wanted to introduce you. myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the I'm right behind you. Hey, Jaden, are you coming or what? Yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you in a second. Don't mind me. Don't wait up for me. I haven't got all day. I'm See right my assistant. You. We'll talk later. Just giving him a nice massage. I like your belt. <laughs> that says sexy. I wonder why you're in here. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. That's Is me. That I'm the profiler. You seem to be well talk to me. Yes. Captain. Hello. Can I talk? Whoa, hi. I like your swagger. No, no, no. Don't go in the room. Captain, please. Please, let me go with you. Oh, God. Rude. It's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sorry, I... I don't have any... Sorry, I hate cops. Maybe next time round. Ah, uh, the height of interactive video games. Fail your coffee. Uh, Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Thank you. Alright, I'll, I'll meet you there. Agent Jaden, are you coming? Yep. On my way. You just stay put and you can show me my office. <laughs> he turns around, looks back, locks eyes with her, and he gives her the middle finger. He's like, I'm out of here, tits. Oh, she's really patient. This? This is my office? If you need anything, you know where to find me. It's pretty nice. <laughs> All better. Now I have stuff on the floor. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. And nailed it. Step one. Change the office. There we go. Wants me to look at clues and stuff. Sure, I'm gonna do the bare minimum. Well, well, looks like there's something new. I mean, all evidence is technically new because I haven't looked at Harry, any evidence. Come in. Oh, good, we can close it. We investigated almost nothing, learned nothing, and we're done. Oh, oh God. Oh god, daddy needs his juice. This is what David Cage oh, thinks drug addiction looks like. I feel like crap. Uh, hell yeah, we're taking those drugs. I want these people to ruin their lives. Meanwhile, Ethan's talking to the cops about what a weirdo he is. How he doesn't care about his children. Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. I'm Kid. not really sure. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. He was wearing nothing. And a pair of pants. Yes, my son was wearing pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. <laughs> Making this guy look like you a criminal. Say you Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Well, I was running and crying everywhere. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple Listen, hours. Listen, your son's probably just joined a gang. Don't worry about it. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Do they think it's the origami killer? I hope so. How could you lose Sean like that? I was, I was You should never have taken weed. your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Apparently pretty hard. It's Why also hard to keep an eye on them in the mall. Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? No, I want to lose the other one too, honestly. 
Hit me with that sad piano music. Oh, video games. Filled with so much emotions. You're such a fuck up, Ethan. These cops are just blindly walking around anywhere. Namely. Good evening to you, sir. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Is I he have okay? More to say. Uh, let's not say anything. I'll leave my card in case you change your mind. There really is no point. Okay. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Just intentionally walking on this, all these chips on the guy's floor. <laughs> Can I get into the staff room? All right, here we go. Good evening, sir. Give me what you got in the register. Oh, shit. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Are you gonna open that fucking register on or not? No way. No, sir. You don't get it, do you? Come on. I'm gonna we put the fucking this. bullet. Nailed hey, it. Uh, Come here. I'm gonna do everything put your in my fucking power hands up to get or shot. Suit. Are you deaf? I said put your hands up. No. I I'm warning you. I'll shoot. Go ahead. I'm gonna put him up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put him back down. What do you think if of that? If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead. I'm not joking, man. I'll blow your fucking brains out. I dare ya. Ow. Ow. Ugh, such drama. Don't move, sir. I'll call for an ambulance. No, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I just got shot. just grazed my shoulder. Ah, lucky me. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what would have happened without you. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Uh-huh. Inside the locker, I found this box. And, uh, definitely gonna look at this box. Nothing awkward about this. Alright, I'm opening. I'm opening it a little bit. Oh, I failed opening the box. Okay, we'll open it. Here we go. I opened it a little bit. Just, 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 oh, we failed. Alright, here we go. Let's get that open. Hmm. Please, is this edible? Can take I the eat box this? if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Eh, probably not. Thanks anyway, though. David Cage is like, you can see the guy's butt in the beginning of the game, so that allows me to have the lady character in her underwear. Makes sense. Huh? What was that? Poopin'. Yes, the height of video games. They had to include this in the video game, of course. I thought I'd close the fridge. Close the fridge door. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. All right, the first fight the I didn't do anything. This fight I'm actually going to fight back. The front door. It's not very funny it's to the watch only a way girl out. get the shit kicked out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Right, here we go. It's been a while. Oh, 
one of those. Oh. Not good. Run. Buttons. Hey up. my own TV for no reason. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Here, have one of these. You too. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. In your face. Except... There's no way to win. Because it's a dream. Gotcha, stupid. <laughs> what a twist. Action scene for no reason. Well, well, we'll just call it a dream. Let's do the sad boy again. <clears throat> Ah, yes, my son was kidnapped, so now there are journalists outside my house. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Lucky parents. Mr. Mars. Mr. Mars, hello. Mr. Mars. Mr. Mars, I killed Goddamn my son. reporters. Oh. They've been camped outside my house all day. Yeah, let's leave through the front door. Screw it. Hi, I killed my son. Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Yes, he has so disappeared. I Mr. Mars, get another car. Mr. Mars, Mr. I'm going to walk straight Mars, to that car without stopping on the way. Yeah, they want me to walk to the Mr. car, but what if I just Do you don't? Suspect anyone, Mr. Mars? Do you know if the investigators have any leads? Oh, I have a lot of thoughts. Keep going. Whatever you do, don't stop. Mr. Don't answer Mr. the Mars, questions. Don't say anything. Just Mr. get your son back. My car. Just a few more steps. Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think uh, the uh, 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 Mr. Mars. So if you don't no, exactly. move, they just repeat what they their questions over and over again. Okay, can there you we go. Jeez. Son has I thought I wasn't moving at all. I just let this journalist abuse me. God, I'm surrounded by zombie people. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I, I can't go on. No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. Hi, I work here now. Oh yes, just looking completely normal here, everybody. Don't mind me, this is what David Cage thinks a panic attack looks like. Panic attacks. They make everyone around you freeze in place. Dad! Dad, where are you? <gasps> my dead son. I better Jason for a bit. Jason! Jason, don't even bother with my son. Dad! This is way more fun. Jason! Excuse me, everybody. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Just looking for my son. Have you seen him? Jason! Dad! I'm on my way, kiddo. Don't you worry. Jason! I'll be there any minute. <laughs> what an amazing video game. Oh, my panic attack and this whole complete psychotic delusion breakdown is over. Yay. Line 18, box number 3. 18-3. I got it. What do we have in here? Is my son in this box? I hope so. Jason, are you in this box? You're grounded, mister.
the height of video games. You can pee in this game. Excellent. That's all I've ever wanted in a video game. Can I pee again? Oh no, he's just flushing. Turn the TV on? Hell yeah. According to our sources, a child disappeared from the Stanton district yesterday evening. He was last seen playing in the park with his father. Hey, that's Holy me. Unknown, the story's about me. Of Jeremy Bowles again may be the work of the origami killer. It's pronounced if origami. It will bring the number of victims to nine. All right, let's open this box. Hopefully my son's inside. A free gun. Always wanted a free gun. Are you prepared to show your courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? I'm so cold! Dad! Well, you should call me. Dad! Stop hanging around in, uh, in gutters. Give me a call. How far am I prepared to go someone to save someone I love? That sounds like a tagline for a video game. I've got a son to shoot. Norman Jade. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's I'm not why even he comes to faces change with mud to make them anonymous. The slide. Continue, Jaden. No, I'm just gonna stare at you. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Don't say anything, just stare at them. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? <laughs> About 10 square mile. Ah, uh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? If you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough! Oh god, the drama. No answer. We waste our time coming here. <laughs> he barely even tried. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Fuck civil rights. There is now. Those windows haven't been opened in years. The guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You find anything, Blake? You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Okay. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. Norman Jaden. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you still hear the voices? What does he say Blake, to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? Let me get kissably close to both of you. <gasps> Stop! Stop! Let me give That's you a enough. smooch. Come on, Blake. Just kiss me. So you me obeyed already. them to make them stop. You took that boy Loved with you, you and you drowned one. him. Isn't that right? Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Saw the For Christ's sake! Shoot! Sure. I. I shot him. Good job. Yep. 
Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go get some sandwiches. Mind me, I'm just gonna come into your house. Hello, little cutie. Oh, you're oh. hideous. You looking for your mama? Just push the stroller out into the rain. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Alright, gotta kick the door down. Here we go. Let's get this thing down. I'm ready. We're gonna knock this baby down. Here we go. We're, we're taking down the door. And any second now. Hey girl, you're not looking too good. Wake up! Can we fail picking her up? And put her back down. Pick her up. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Here, I'll put you in this crib. Lucky I happened to be on the scene. Thank goodness I happen to be a creep and I walked into her house. Let's see. What do we I got this? here? And this? Bandages. Viagra. This. Vinegar. Little pepper. Some salt. Can you hear me? Stay with me. This is so intense and dramatic, okay. only it's not, because the line reading is bad. My baby. My baby needs me. My baby. Weren't too concerned about you the baby there. ten minutes ago, were you? I'll take care. Anything to get this stupid thing to stop crying. Hi there, Emily. So, you want to get flushed down the toilet? To the problem, huh? Going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. God, I hate it. I hate it. Throw it out the window. Make it stop. Fixing a stupid, ugly, sticky baby. I can't believe somebody thought this was a good idea for a video game. So yeah, the mom's killing herself, and you come in and you take care of their baby. Game of the year. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just choking the baby. I'm failing to give the baby its bottle correctly. Just put it down as hard as possible. Great. He left the house without a word, and there was just the cell phone. Do you still have it? It's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you like. <clears throat> well, look after yourself and Emily. I will. I promise. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. Good luck, ugly. You're gonna need it. What a fun video game. Prevent a, a suicide. Achievement unlocked. Suicide prevention. Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Huh! Sorry. Didn't Sorry, see you. didn't clearly hear you say uh, excuse me out loud. I'd like to get my car. We took it out for a drive. Okay, every thanks. Month bye. Check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Man, I hope I can find the car. It's got to be around here somewhere. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Hell no. Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. I have no choice. Alright, I am now putting my controller down. Let's see how this goes. Come on! Come on! 
Everything's working according to plan. I'll save my son in no time. You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. We're doing great. Let's hit that guy. Get out of the way! Almost. You have not reached your destination. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> we'll be saving our son in no time. Good thing it didn't make me get out of the car because I would have just sat in that and let it burn. <laughs> Did I win? Definitely won, right? Easy peasy. No problem. First test complete. Time to meet the creepiest character in the whole game. Oh, he's the worst. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Healing the register. God, he's so creepy. Let's not fill in the register. Let's just sit here for a second and appreciate this awkward moment. <laughs> and then they stood there for eternity. Madison Page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Who decided to voice Going act to this guy world. like this? It's Last awful. Stairs on the right. Didn't make awful it. voice acting. Stairs on the right. Yeah. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, of course, the shot of her butt. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. You know he does. Hey, you're one of the other Sir? characters I play as. <sighs> Hello. Are you all right? You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. So your room is uh, is this way, right? All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> they automatically turn you around. Damn it. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Yes, you can. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. How do you know it's not fatal? I should disinfect his cuts. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? Just keep failing. S sorry. I'll try to be more careful. Yeah, hang on. Thanks for your help, but I think I can take it from here. Wow! I'm so bad at healing right. that he's like, you gotta leave. I better go. What's next? Why don't you read them all at once, dummy? Maybe you could make a day out of it. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? I've already suffered quite a bit, but yeah, sure. Let's do more of it can't have enough suffering. Ugh, so much drama and feelings. Was that the first time? That we've had sex? No, Sorry? we've had sex a couple times. First time you killed somebody. Oh, hell no. I kill people all the time, bro. It always does something to you the first time. That makes me hard. And you get used to it. 
Be aggressive. If you hadn't acted like that with a guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! Ah! <laughs> fucking face. That's him. That's him. We should chase him, probably. Let's get after him. We don't want him getting away. You're Slav Porta? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Why would you say yes, it's me, and then throw coffee in his face? All right, let's not press any buttons. Hey man, watch it, dude. Here we go. Hey, what's the matter? I'm actually doing pretty well for a guy who's failing everything. That one was a weird one. He just hugged that girl for like no reason. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, watch it, man! Hey, watch it! Excuse me? Oh, the boxes! Oh, more boxes! Fuck me! Oh, not fruit, my worst enemy! Oh, and boxes! Oh! <laughs> He's just hugging a lot of people. Ooh. Come on, Norman, you're doing great. I lost him. Maybe he's hiding in the fruit. Shit, I lost him. I'm gonna put out an APB. That son of a bitch won't get far. Damn. Take our inhaler? Nope. Drink? Absolutely. My favorite. Let's look at our gun. Yeah, I'm drunk and I got a gun. Ah, yes, finally, I can go pee. I need to pee as every character. Ah, yes. He's so happy. Good job. Now make sure to flush. What a stupid video game. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. I don't remember saying that. Bye. Can I come in? Maybe it's not important. But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. Nah, that's letter? not important. Don't what kind of it. letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? <laughs> Nothing particular except the writer. one thing that's important about Could a letter. Be a you never know. Don't say thank you. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? Oh, hell yeah. You can be my Scooby Doo. It was a stupid idea. I'm it sorry was a stupid idea. I agree. Show. Bye. Wait. Nice talking to you, though. Wait, I've You're suddenly really changed my mind because I realized how lonely I am. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. You're not a mother anymore, though, Are am I right? Because <laughs> your son was murdered. Remember? Remember? <sighs> We're partners. Remember, Lauren. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. It almost looked like they were gonna let us walk by, but he's like, no, let me show them my invitation. You know what, I don't wanna go. It's loud, they, they have loud music. Hello? I'm looking for Gordy! Have you seen him? Alright, nice talking to you. That was awkward. Hi! I'm looking for Gordy! You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? 
Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Great, it was a pleasure not having eye contact with you. Ooh, they have cigarettes. This is a hell of a party. Uh, uh nope, don't want to sit down, change my mind. Hi! Great party, huh? You look normal. Hi! <laughs> Let me drink on the job. Whiskey straight up, no ice. Bail. Yeah, you don't get to drink your whiskey. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Hey, man. Hello. You think you could help me out? Yeah, sure. Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. You beat it. Look, Cinderfella. The clock's just turned 12, and I don't want to have to turn you into a pumpkin. You're real smart, fella. Bet you won't be so funny with my foot up your ass. Hell yeah. That sounds sexy. Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? What a completely normal interaction. You motherfucker! <laughs> this looks so bad. Were you talking about my mother? Yep. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> this is... Awkward. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. I'd like to hear your <laughs> What was that fact. face? The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Don't be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Oh shit, it's him. I get We've my victims figured it out. Car. We've cracked the case. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? More, please. This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Oh, uh, yeah? You guys think you can take me? Well, what if I don't press any buttons? Ow! <laughs> Alright, you think you got me that time, but what about the ow? Alright, good luck. I didn't even have to hit anything. I hit him. Alright. <laughs> Nailing it. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Get rid of him. Oh yes, one of my least favorite parts of the game. The second trial. Hardcore parkour. And oh. Ah, ouch. Ouchies. This seems like a great idea. What could go wrong? I'd be so comfortable doing this. Oh, even better. Whoa. Ouch. Glass. Broken glass. Glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. Yeah, let's go slow. Uh. Now 
to not put the match out. <laughs> Let me just lay here for a second. I'm doing great. Feeling good. Just want to get an infection while I'm laying here. Oh. I guess I don't really have any choice. Yeah, you want to go back to the glass tunnel? Whee! Oh, my anus. I'm just ripping up my asshole right now on rusty metal shards. Ow. Just take a rest here for a moment. If you don't mind. This looks like a OSHA nightmare. No, thank you. I don't care about my son enough. Hard pass. I just wanted to claw through the glass for no reason. Yeah, too much effort. Thanks. It's it's over for me. I can't just leave him like this. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit, what could have happened to him? Oh my god, what happened to him? Why do you care so much? This guy seems like a crazy person. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Yes. Stripping a man uh, mini game. Uh, I gotta take your pants off too. I gotta suck the glass out. Your arms look really Ow. bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. What are you, a mom with a baby? Yeah, I'll disinfect your wounds in a second, but let me spy on what you're doing first. Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Get in there. Sorry, <laughs> that's stupid. I'm using anti burn ointments on your cuts. Painkillers. Nice, let's get him doped up. Anti-fever. Antibiotics. Here's three competing medications. Have fun. Let's do it as hard as possible. Sorry. There you go. Is that better? Sorry. All right, third time's the charm. Sorry. I better stop. <laughs> I suck at this. I better stop. How do you feel? I feel like drugged and like you uh, rubbed, disinfected it hard on my wounds. I've been better. You mixed up with the mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? I'm on the hunt for my son. My ugly Listen, robot I'm son. I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Right. Okay, no problem. Bye. I'm gonna go. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? You bet I am. Okay, right, right. Okay, very good. Corda has an airtight alibi for at least two of the disappearances. He's not the origami killer. Fuck, that bastard was the perfect fit. Shit! Uh. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Yeah, we're two loose cannon cops. Are you threatening me? Yes. I'm just giving you some free I advice, am. Doc. I we're suggest the police. you take That's it. That's all we do. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. We are the police. You're not Doctor, gonna do you are shit. really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really gonna lose my temper. Do what you gotta do. Nice. Now tell us the information you don't know. 
There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. I love the hard way. Nice, nice. Keep going. Do you need help? Come on. Yes. Good one. All right. Good. Another shot. You're doing great. I did not mean to do that. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He is haunted by oh, visions of another drowning torture. bodies. Still works. A few weeks ago, I found this I on know. the floor. Hi there, you two. You don't mind if I watch, do you? Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. Yeah, look at that. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. But he told me that he was the origami killer, so... How much do you want to leave my son alone? I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shane. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Porcelain lizards? They look new. A key! This door is sponsored by Sobe. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Hell yeah. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. It's gonna feel great. You're doing good. Good job. You nailed it. Don't worry about it, buddy. You'll be fine. They grow back. Oh, I didn't finish. I gotta keep going. Great. There we go. Well, that was fun. What a fun video game. Under the desk. I can't resist torturing the guy. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Whoop, 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 she hates that. This is fun. Whee! Completely normal walking right there. Good. She's going inside. Ethan, what happened? I cut my the pinky police. off for they're no out reason. There. I think they're here to arrest you. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. No problem. Oh good, another panic. Oh, gotta keep going. Hopefully, this guy's got to keep his shit together. Ethan, they're coming. He's a he's a nightmare. Careful! Goddamn, watch where you're going, Whoa. motherfucker! Uh. Ow! Hey, watch it, man! Quick, quick, Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us. I wish we could get run over, but I doubt that's how it works. And... Oh, it looked like she threw him in front of it. Alright, that's fine, Ethan. We'll get you out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. I kidnapped my son, but I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. Where? is Sean. I told you, I don't know. Ah! Nice. Wrong answer. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? Hey. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of Why him does alive. he think that Ethan Mars this is innocent? Has worn you out, Norman. What you a plot hole. He just jumped to this through. huge conclusion. I've provided no reason for him to think that Ethan Mars is innocent. Oh yeah, let's take more drugs. Ah, oh, that'll make me feel better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Take my blue future drugs. That'll make all my problems go away. Hmm. Time for a little jazz. Yeah. Oh. I'm the piano man. Listen to my beautiful music. Hmm. Do you feel it, baby? Do you feel? feelings. I'm dark and moody. I'm a piano boy. I'm the finger master. Your vodka, sir. Thank you, guy Thanks. from The Shining. You look preoccupied. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. You should mind your Very own business. Very dangerous, Jeeves. I'm trying to keep a handle Tell on it. Tell me what to do. That's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Fade to black. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Of Mad course, Jack. Of course they make it a black guy. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the oh, killer seems with a nice car. Enough. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. I'm busting for a piss. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. All the cops are having a break. Now's your Head chance to, to leave. straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. You say thank you. Just say you're gonna save your son. And I am also gonna save your son. We'll both save him, I and then we'll get married. Together. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. 
A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. They say you're the origami killer. Origami. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't know. But I'm the only one who can save Sean. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. That doesn't make sense, Why can't Ethan? you tell that to the police? You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Oh, she bought like a whole bunch of food. Neither of them are eating it now. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Are you prepared to kill your son to save your son? Can't wait to kill my son. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. Fuck off! Time to die, motherfucker. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal. I want huh? dope and money. I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Alright, let's see what happens if I don't press it. Ow. You gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! I'm doing great. Great survival instinct. Ooh. Am I wearing a bulletproof vest? Goddamn, punk. I'm gonna blow your brains out. Is it empty? Get out of here. Go die somewhere else. Okay, thanks. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. Don't say. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Hi, aren't you Colin Mockery? Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. I loved you on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Without a prescription, I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Oh, absolutely. Sure, why not? Don't even talk to him, just be like down the whole thing right in front of him. Really impressed the guy. Awkward. Having some trouble. Did oh, yeah. your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? She did. Good point. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be going home now. Where are you put where are you planning on putting that? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I have noticed that. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Okay, Don't see move. you in a bit. It won't be long. Take your time. Yep, 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 yep. No problem. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. And one of these, absolutely. Go. Oh boy. 
All right, big boy, let's do this. Nice throw. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay. Oh, no. Wrong button again. Come on, girl. There we go. Come on. Come on. We got this. Ow. Oh, no. Bad again. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Ah, that one? Yeah, in the balls. And then one of these. Yep, one of those again. Sure. Keep on smashing. Yes. Uh, I don't know which one that was. No, 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 no. Ah. Ah. Shit. Ugh. Come on, girl. We got this. Wrong button. No. Come on. Kill the guy. Jesus. <laughs> What are you going to do with my butt? <laughs> yeah, 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 take that! Colin Mockery! <laughs> Show that it doesn't matter, and there will be no points. See you later, creep. Oh, my hands are sweating. Thank you for searching the house for me so I don't have to do it. I appreciate that. Make, make this guy a stereotype. FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Me. I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Can I help you with that? With whatever you're doing? God damn. The Origami Killer. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hiya! Okay. No dice, Inspector Asshole. I'll get you next next time. Don't you worry. Bet you didn't expect this. Hey. No fucking around, or I'll pop a cap in your ass right here. All right, all right, fine, fine. But I bet you didn't see this coming. Aha! I hurt myself. What do you think of that? Nothing you can do to stop me from hurting myself. That'll show you. And that's how you kill Norman Jaden. I felt bad for how Norman uh, died, so we're trying again. Here we go. Nice try. You out of your 
your motherfucking mind, man? Oh, shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. What is this whoa, whoa, accent? Whoa, stop, enough. I'm starting to remember some things. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. Now, that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Oh, my drugs! What? Oh, my precious drugs! Dope heads in the FBI now. God bless America. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five O. Oh, thank you. Ow. Permanently. Now we'll put the controller down and not do anything. A much more suiting death for Nam and Jaden. I don't think you would be screaming at that point. See you, Norman. Nice working with you. Let's cook up these ostrich eggs. Look at the size of those things. Looks disgusting. They're done. <laughs> there you go. I cooked it for less than a minute. I don't really like raw eggs. Oh, really? Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. You sure you don't want to just try them? What's that? The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further on. Thanks. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. I'm sensing a flashback. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlin. Get the hell out of here. Oh, no these good kids are friends. so ugly. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. I don't know, We're French boy get number one. We spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. What a perfect American accent. Bet you can't catch me. All right, here we go. Fail. All right, and uh, fail. How about another fail? Some more failure, there you go. Perhaps you'd like a more fail. Almost there, there you go. Move your ass! I'm waiting! Move your ass! Don't watch your head. I told you to watch your head! <laughs> you dumbass! We're grabbing on. This kid actually has incredible upper body strength. Alright, fine. I guess it actually makes us grab on. And slip again? Whee! 
Oh, fuck. Oh boy, it's almost like you don't have to press anything to beat this part. It's kind of like you barely have to play this game. Come on, it's your turn. Hell yep. Was hoping he would fall to his death, but fine. It's time to jump of death. Oh hell yeah, the jump of death. Ugh, you're creepy. Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? Sure. Two, three, four, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. Oh no! My foot! My foot is stuck! Well, why did you go and do that, stupid? Alright, I'll help you. Hang on. Just hold on there. I got you. I'll pull you up, don't you worry. You just sit there tight. Oh, French kid number two, you can't drown on me. You're the only other ugly French kid I know. I'm hurrying. But the poor kid never did find any help. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Looks like a storm's coming. It's raining as hard as it possibly Christ, can. What a horrible story. John <laughs> Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he he could be the origami killer? Hey there, fella. Are you the origami killer? Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Bum, bum, bum. flowers on John Shepard's grave. He's the origami killer. Ah, yes, the Blue Lagoon. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. You know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. Wait, isn't that Louis C.K.? Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Does that turn you on? Do you like it when a girl breaks her ankles? Hey, you! Who, me? It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Oh, I'm so lucky that I get to sit down with this gross person. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> cool, baby. I go in, I make him talk to the gun. And I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Yeah, no problem. Everything's gonna be all right. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Louis C.K. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Boss? Is everything all right? Everything's great. This guy's like, good for the boss, having sex with a girl. I 
Okay. Whole different game now. The music makes this so much better. Shepard! Maybe is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. It's been fun, though. Don't move! All right, can't catch me. Have you? He's still on the move. Arthur Parkour. Nailed it. He's on the balcony. Whoa. Oh, sorry. That way. Good job. Excellent work. Don't move. Oh, come on. You got me. <clears throat> Game over. My son's going to die. You got to save him. Please. Save my son! I beg you, you're his last chance. Save my son. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. Your investigation is over. Ugh. For good. Oh, God. On your own. I tried my best to save you, but there's nothing I can do. I'm sure she'll find her own way out. Bastard. I'm gonna kill you. Surprise, motherfuckers. It's me, the shoot man. Ah! Fucking asshole. Don't worry, I got this. Pressing any buttons at all, but I'm killing it. I think we showed them. All right, how quickly can we get through this part? Because this part is really boring. I came to talk about your son, Mrs. Shepard. I have no son. What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Your son may be linked to a series of murders. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I'm your son. Haven't you been paying attention? My children loved origami. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. I only had one son. My little Johnny. Come closer. Closer? <gasps> the old woman died two seconds later.
Oh. Shelf video game acting. Please, please, Dad, you've got to save John. I tried, John. I really tried, but he wouldn't come. So you're just please gonna have to drown. Die, John. Please. And then we just watch him drown. Don't forget about my Scotty. Scotty. But that's the name of. One of the main characters. What a twist. I swear I will seek revenge for my drowned brother when I'm an adult man. I will kill more children. That makes sense, I guess. him the whole time. He was just covering everything up. It all makes sense now. Other than all the plot holes, it makes perfect sense. I even got rid of Lauren. How did I not see this coming? I caught the origami killer, but the origami killer is me. Yeah, I lost your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut it's up! It's really weird, Scott. You don't understand. No, I don't understand. It's really weird. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Get in there. Catch the origami killer, we'll be there in no time. Okay, I'm sure we're we'll be okay. Alright, and uh Alright, go ahead, Madison, get up. You'll be fine. He's getting away. Well, I'm I'm sure she'll be okay. Right?
body of Sean Mars was discovered this the body of this hideous robot Memphis child. City. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Our main headline today. It is reported that Ethan Mars, the origami killer, has been arrested. Oh, good. Police psychologists Justice are currently has been evaluating served. the mental state of the accused, and he is believed to have a serious psychiatric condition. In a related tragedy, it was learned that the investigation has cost the life of Madison Page, a young reporter covering the origami killer story. That's all for Robot News. Oh, I see I got the happy ending unlocked. So I guess he was the origami killer the whole time. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. I still have his glasses. What should I do with them? Well, we won't be needing them again. Because he's dead, you know. Do whatever you want with them. I live in the glasses now, Blake. I got away with it, no problem. Mission accomplished. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Heavy Rain, a very goofy but fun game. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw, and uh, please give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to my channel, and maybe uh, ring the bell for notifications if you feel like it. Check out all my links below in the description, and I will see you in the next live stream.